Good day everyone, I am John Lester Abbas Valdez and I will be your teacher for today's schedule in TLE Technical Drafting. Today we will be going to proceed on to our next discussion, but first let us have a prayer. Yes, Miss De La Rosa, please lead the prayer. Thank you for that very inspiring prayer. At this moment, let us first reiterate the topic that we discussed last meeting. Anyone from the group can give me at least three operational terminologies in technical drafting? Yes, Ms. Jacinto. Okay, very good. Floor plan, plan, and site development plan are some of the operational terms in technical drafting. But by the way, class, do you love games? Okay, since everybody loves a game, let's have a game. The title of the game is Reveal Me. All you have to do is figure out the sets of picture that are to be flashed to the screen in order to get the name of the team being described by the picture. So, this is the first picture. What do you think is the team being described in this picture? Okay, very good. This is a triangle. And this is the last picture. What do you think it is? Okay, excellent. This is a square. And it is something to do in our next discussion, which will be, yes, uh -huh, another. Yes, very good. That's right. Our next lesson is all about the drafting tools, materials, and equipment. But before we go through our formal discussion, let us first read the objectives of the lesson, which at the end of the lesson, students should or must be able to first identify the drafting tools, materials, and equipment. Second is prepare drawing tools, materials, and equipment for technical drafting. And the last is value the importance of Drafting tools, materials, and equipment. Among from the last who have an idea about the materials and tools that are being used in technical drafting. Yes, miss. Okay, very good. Triangle, pencil, and eraser are, and band paper are only common materials and tools in technical drafting. In our lesson today, I will be discussing with you the different kinds of hand tools with their uses. Class, are you ready? Since you already have an idea of our lesson for today, let's get started. The first drafting tools, materials, and equipment in drafting is the drawing paper. The drawing paper is especially preferred for use in drafting. Hard and soft surface drawing paper are highly recommended. Example of it is the Oslo paper and the Bellum paper and many more. Next is the drawing pencil. A drawing pencil is a wood case pencil. Pencils are typically used to project lines or sketches of the drawing. The next one is the eraser. Eraser is a material used to clean the dirt of the drawing. Soft and hard eraser are the example of it. The next one is the pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener is a tool used to sharpen the pencil and maintain it pointed. The next one is the triangular scale. Triangular scale is a tool generally used when reproducing a drawing or an enlarged or reduced form to some proportion. It is the main function is to reproduce the measurement of the object in pool size, reduce the size, or enlarge the size. Next one is the eraser shield. Eraser shield is a tool made up of thin metal with irregular holes. Guys, are you still with me? Okay, let's continue. Next is the T-square. T-square is used to draw a horizontal line. It is also used for guiding a triangles when drawing a vertical lines. Typically made up of wood, plastic, or a combination of both. There are three types of T-square. The fixed head T-square, the movable or adjustable T-square, and the detachable or removable T-square. Next is the compass. This drawing instrument is used when drawing arcs and circles. It is used in a similar way to a divider. Next is the divider. The divider is an instrument used to transfer the accurate measurements easily by adjusting the divider point. It is similar to use of the compass. Next is the drafting tape. Drafting tape is used for fastening drawing paper on the drawing board or table. Guys, are you still with me? Okay, let's continue. Next is the French curve. French curve, this is consists of many templates that are excellent tools for drawing irregular curve lines that are not part of the circle or ellipse. Next is the triangle, the second to the last. 
Triangle is the three-sided drawing instrument which is typically has two equal sides meeting at the 90 degrees angle and the third side at 45 and 30 including the a 60 degree angle. The last is the drawing table. A drawing table or architect table is an antique for form a kind of multi-purpose desk that can be used for any kind of drawing, writing or impromptu sketching or drafting a precise technical illustration such as engineering drawing or architectural drawings. Class, is that clear? Is there any clarification? Question in our lesson? Okay, very good. So let us test if you really understand and comprehend our lesson. I will give you a two question and you are going to answer this. Number one question is, it is normally used to project lines or a drawing or sketches. Yes, okay, very good. It is a pencil. Number two question is, type of tool that is usually used in removing dirt on the paper. Yes, okay, very good. It is an eraser. Okay, since you already know the different drafting tools, materials, and equipment, I will give you an activity or an individual activity. The title of your activity is... Drawing title block. What you have to do is to make a title block in a one whole sheet of Oslo paper using the different drafting tools, materials, and equipment. Each of you will be graded accordingly with the rubrics presented on the screen. And is that clear? Okay, very good. You may now start your work. Okay, class, are you done with your activity? Okay, please pass it forward. I would like to congratulate all of you for doing well in our activity. So let's give a round of applause to our results. And for your assignment, using your mobile phone or gadgets technology, do some research about the following items. The number one is what is the site development plan. Number two is what are the factors to be considered in developing the site development plan. Number three is bring prepared drafting tools, materials, and equipment for drawing a site development plan for our next discussion. Is that clear? I guess this is the end of our discussion today. Again, I am John Lester E. Valdez, your teacher in TLE Technical Drafting. Thank you for your listening and God bless you all. Keep going, Paneon!